Hi guys, it's Wave McMaster here today. Another video showing you how you can use ConvertKit. This time we're going to be focusing on using modal and slide up forms on our website using the ConvertKit plugin. So basically, the way this works is pretty cool. Um, basically, you create a pop up form and you can get people to sign up. It's just all created through ConvertKit. It's really easy, it takes about two seconds to do. Um, and if, but also, if you're looking how to get started, how to sign up for, how to sign up, get ConvertKit on your website or create a landing page or even make use of their really cool automation features. I do have a playlist below showing you all those things. But for now, I'm gonna get stuck into how we can create a pop-up form on our page. So I'm gonna to go to new form over here. Click on form and click on modal for our pop-up. You see, we've got a few options we can go through and we can customize these text, change the background image, that sort of thing. I'm gonna click on this one here. As you can see, we've got our newsletter here. Maybe I want to change this text to subscribe for your free download. Maybe I don't want it to bold, but normal. Um, I can change any of the text here by simply clicking on it. The PDF will arrive soon. You want to take time. Obviously, time to type something is going to be somewhat um, enticing. You can add fields here. If I click this, I can add a field, choose first name, that sort of thing. I can delete the field, change the subscribe text to sign up or something like that. I can simply go through and change anything in this form by clicking on it. I can even turn off the Power by ConvertKit link. Even though it's great out there, it does not show up on the page. So that shows you just how easy it is to change the text on your form. But let's say we want to change a few other things, like this background image. Then the left here is where all of your settings are. Now the cool thing is because it's a pop-up, we can actually have this show up with exit intent. So when a visitor is about to leave the page, the form pops up. We can actually have it show up when they reach say 20% scroll, which is a bit aggressive. Maybe you want to make it 50 or 60%. Or you can simply have it timed so that when they are there for five seconds, they pop up. So you've got a few options there on you know, how to get this pop-up to trigger. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave it on 20%. I'm going to go through, I can change, if I want to set up an, a, a download, so someone opts in, they receive a free PDF, I can click download here and upload a file, which is pretty cool. And here's where I can change a lot of the settings. So if I want to change this red to like a, a green, a dark green, I could do that. I could change the form background color to something else if I want to too, maybe a light gray or even a black. I've got a few options there, I'm going to leave those white for now. And you can change this border radius here, which I've done on another video, uh, similar sort of thing. And I can change the background image. So if I click here, I can upload an image such as this fish. And I can change how strong it is here. Maybe I want to make it 100%. So it shows up. It's a bit too strong, so I'll knock it down to, say, 75%. So we've got a few options here to do what we want to with this form. And of course, if this button's not the right color, I can click on the button and change that to black and you see the border radius is 24 which is why we have a curved button if I change that to zero you get a square button so it's pretty easy to get a, some basic customizations to this little pop-up I'm going to call this form pop-up one and I'm going to save it now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to forms I'm going to create a slide in form we're not going to spend as much time because the the customizer is pretty much the same. If I create a new form here, down the bottom, go to forms, slide in. I'm going to just select a plain form here, join the newsletter. You see we've got the same thing as before. There's no images in this form, but I can add my field. I can go through and change the settings. Maybe I want to scroll percentage. Once again, maybe I'll make that 30% this time, I can set it up for timing. I can do all the same things that I could with the other one, set up my download and go from there. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to call this one slide one. I'm going to save that. So now I've created two forms, a sliding form. I can customize this one like the other one, as I just said. It's really quite easy to get what you want, change the colors around. Um, you've got all the options in the world. So I'm going to go back to my WordPress website here. Now what I'm going to do 
I've got the convert kit plugin installed. I'm going to go through how to set this up in another video, which will be in the playlist below in my in the description. I'm going to go down to my convert kit settings because I have the convert kit plugin installed. And I'm going to click refresh forms. Okay, so we've refreshed our forms. Now under here, under default form, I can change the default form for the whole website. So I'm going to go to pop up one, save changes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to my blog. And start scrolling. You can see our pop up has shown up there. I tap back to the ConvertKit page and change that to slide one and save those changes. I'm actually going to have to open this in a new browser because I've already visited and ConvertKit tends to stop forms from showing more than once so that way you're not bombarding people. So what I'm going to do off page, I'm going to just open this page, bring it across. Zoom in a bit. If we scroll, you see our little pop-up has shown up here. And that's it. Nice and simple. The pop-up has basically slid up on the page. So that's how simple it is to get a pop-up or a slide in form onto your WordPress website using ConvertKit. So I hope you found that pay, that video useful. Um, if you want to check out ConvertKit for yourself, just uh, head, check out this link on the screen right now. It is an affiliate link, so I do earn a commission if you decide to go through and sign up. But it's an amazing piece of software. I use it for my main website, and um, it's just excellent. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope to see you again soon.